What? Mm, excuse me, God. Mm. What is up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Alex Moore, aka AP3 Jumps, coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. Just quoted Boogie 298. <laughs> 2988 there. <clears throat> so, yeah, his. The latter half of his name is hard, it's hard to say if you try to say it too damn fast. So, let's try again. <laughs> What's up, people of the world? It's me again, Alex Moore, aka AP3 Jumps. Welcome to a brand new Loud House episode review. Today I'm reviewing the second part of the season 3 premiere entitled The Fridge Too Far. So yeah, this and uh, uh, um, Roadie, Roadie to Nowhere both premiered as a full half hour episode instead of splitting up into 15 minutes. If you know me, you know how much I've ran about that, that in the past and how much I hate that because I have I hate having to watch a brand new episode of, a, of an animated series and have it premiere all, only like 15 minutes. Even though technically a, brand, a, a whole half hour is two episodes in one, so one episode just so that there go premiering only one episode as fifteen minutes makes sense, but it's still stupid. <laughs> Ad I, Adult Swim started doing that shit before Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon started doing that. Although I think Cartoon, uh, I think I think Nickelodeon and Adult Swim started doing that crap at the same time. Cartoon Network didn't do this until much much later. But anyway, I'm get I'm getting off topic as usual. I hate when I digress so much, but what did I think of a fridge too far? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Th heard noise downstairs. But yeah, did you just hear me sniffle? Good God, I am so sorry, but you had to hear that. <laughs> also, our allergies have been kicking me in the ass today, so forgive me. Uh, Forgive me in advance if I sound like I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Because today I actually have a good reason. <laughs> See, what did I think of A Fridge Too Far? Well, I thought it was a pretty good episode. I thought, I, I, get, I give it a 9 out of 10. I give it 9 sisters out of 10. Wanna know why? Well, first, I'm gonna tell you the plot of the episode. I'm just gonna give you the plot from my own point of view. Kinda just like give you a plot synopsis, like, by yours truly. <laughs> So yeah, the plot involves the loud children trying to uh, uh, get seconds from their fridge. Well, in short, long story short, they wind up stealing each other's leftovers, and then everyone like uh, <laughs> the the what the the the, the this wow I can't even talk. The description is interesting because it says Lincoln wages war when uh, his siblings filch food out of his fridge. If you don't know what the word filch means, I didn't know what the hell it meant either. The word filch means to steal food, or, or no, the word filch means to steal casually. I did not, I never knew that word existed until, until I read that, that episode description. That is the, one of the weirdest words I've ever heard in my life, but yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, so that's what happens. They, like, basically try to kill a child over these damn leftovers. Like, uh, <laughs> let's see, Link, Lincoln winds up being hung upside down, uh, Luann has, has, a, has a watermelon fall on her foot, and thus breaking it, and have her wearing crutches throughout, like, half of the episode, and, uh, Luna has a paint bomb, Luna gets exploded with a paint bomb, and, uh, just like in a previous episode, uh, Lynn, Lynn gets exploded with a paint bomb, at, paint bomb at the end of the episode, too, but I'll get around to that in a second. I'll get to that a little later. Um, and then Lincoln winds up hanging upside down. Lisa, ha no, no. Lily winds up having radi radiation expo exposure, and uh, Lana, I think she, she some, I, I, I think she just just was caught in the midst of it. No, she got electrocuted. That's what happened. She got electrocuted, and then Lori got bit by by the snapping turtle seen in Future Tense. So yeah, it was cool to see. It was cool to see uh, that thing come back like completely out of nowhere. But <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm trying to think what else happened to the rest of the sisters. <laughs> and uh, a couple of people turned blue again, like Lenny. But I, that's all I could think of off the top of my head. <laughs> so yeah, that winds up being hilarious. So what Lincoln and Lisa wind up doing this was they this they split the fridge up into eleven equally sized zones and color code the zones, which is really cool. It, it looks really cool, it, and all the kids are in awe, and everyone else wa watching the demonstration is in awe of the 
of, of the the fridge and <laughs> so yeah it's a really cool idea it's a, a really cool uh, conflict resolution and uh, uh even when seeing your comments on that later on which i'll get to in a sec so yeah there's a, there's like a b plot in this episode this is one of the first loud house episodes one of the only loud house episodes to have two different plots going on at the same at the same time so plot b involves when senior trying to uh make make a food Wow, oh, excuse me. God, I'm so rude. <laughs> Pot B involves Lindsay are trying to make an impressive dish for a high-end chef critic, for a high-end food critic. So yeah, I think like think like um uh, um um what's his name from Ratatouille? Uh, Ego, Ego from Val of Ratatouille. <laughs> but yeah. That winds up being entertaining because as Lynn Sr. gets all the ingredients and puts them in a bunch of the different zones, the kids think that the uh, the kids think that uh, they're all breaking the rules, and then they wind up throwing uh, Lynn Sr.'s ingredients in the trash. Thus, Cl Cliff wanting actually going out, <laughs> going out and eating all of the said ingre ingredients and making himself incredibly full and like thrice his size in the process. <laughs> so, what happens is when um. When the dude comes to his house to look to uh, the loud house, I don't remember the the food critic's name. However, he is voiced by Bill Mooney, the um, Liliana Mooney's father, actually. So yeah, uh, new character voiced by uh, Liliana Mooney's father, which is which is interesting. I didn't know her father was a voice actor too, but so yeah, when the food critic comes home, uh, when uh, when senior is uh. He's scrambling to like try to cook up something good. And then the kids like, and then the kids confess, and then Lynn Senior's like, "Oh, I, I'm proud of you for always coming up with creative uh, conflict resolutions, but we gotta come up with something." And then the kids suggest, "Why not feed the food critic his leftovers?" And uh, when Senior first thinks that's uh, kind of a preposterous idea, and then the kids to convince him otherwise, and uh, so they wind up feeding. The food critic has left Lynn Senior's leftovers, and to I guess this is kind of predictable, but to Lynn Senior's surprise and everyone else's surprise, the food critic actually lo loves this food, and the reason being that he's tired of eating all the same old crap that he's forced to that he's forced to review all the time, and all the said crap that that the food critic reviews is all is all the ingredients and whatnot that that, that Lynn Senior bought and the food that Lynn Senior was going to make for this guy. So, so yeah, that was funny. And then we had this uh, other gag where where someone hears something, and and then <laughs> and then the recipient is like reacting and the exact reacting exactly how they anticipated them to react and then once they realize what they actually said then, then they're like wait what <laughs> I, lo I love that gag in tv shows i love seeing that in tv shows it's one of my favorite kinds of gags in tv shows so, yeah so uh, after that not much else happens and and then, then uh Rita, it's revealed that Rita actually has hid some leftovers underneath her bed, and then Lynn, Lynn Jr. goes out to get some of the said leftovers, and then uh, Rita's like, wait, don't do it, don't what, do it, and then Lynn Jr. gets uh, uh, blasted with a paint bomb as well, just like Luna, and then the episode, after a couple seconds of her just standing there, the episode just ends, so, <laughs> yeah. I thought, was a I thought that was a pretty good episode. Uh, the, I've had macaroni bites before, actually. It was one of the first taste test videos I ever uploaded on my channel. So, yeah. That, uh, <laughs> although, I've had triangular ones from, like, TGI Fridays, not spherical ones. But, uh, anyway. <laughs> I thought the Season 3 premiere started off with a great start, actually. And I can't wait for the other two of the of the four revealed, Selfie Improvement and uh, No Place Like Homeschool. I feel like those are going to be very good as well. Now, I guess I'm done for right now. If you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned for more Loud House Season 3 episode reviews, as well as, as, well as a Loud House uh, like, vlog as to where I'm talking about uh, 
things that have happened in the Loud House series. What they've what they've done is like what they've done in honor of the season three premiere and other things that have happened for the Loud House series, like a major voice actor change that we all of us have been anticipating but weren't sure what was going to happen. We just weren't sure when it was going to happen, but it finally happened. You can stay tuned for that to tomorrow, or if not tomorrow, within like the next few days. So, and if you know, if you want to know when I upload videos, click the bell icon. Don't if you like this video, don't not don't, don't, don't only subscribe. Click the bell icon as well. I might just start adding that to my outros from now on. But yeah. <laughs> Please click the bell. It's like double subscribing, but that's the only way you're really gonna know when your favorite YouTubers are, 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 have even uploaded anything. So unless you deliberately search for them, but you can't remember every single YouTuber that you watch. I mean, you could try, but it's easier just to add the bell. But the trade-off is that you can get a bombardment of YouTube notifications like I do. But whatever. I'm Alex Wormer, aka AP3 Jumped. Thank you so much for watching until the end. That is it for me, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. What did you guys think of the season three premiere? Tell me what you thought in the comments below. And I'd like to give a shout out to a couple of my Loud House friends, uh, Aaron slash Nerox. I think that's his name. He's the he's the Loud House guy on Twitter who posts polls of a bunch of different things, not just Loud House related stuff. And uh, my other Loud House friend, Gravity Ferb, who's one of the first uh, Loud House friends that I befriended personally. So yeah, shout out to him, and also shout out to uh, some of my favorite Loud House artists, just for the hell of it, because I want to show them some love. Bakun Bunny, Coyote Rom, JFM Studios, um, da, 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 The Fresh Knight, um, uh, Vin, Vin Zound, uh, Master Rainbow. Uh, he does a lot more than just Loud House art, by the way, but I think I'm done with this video. So yeah, I will see you next time. I will see you soon. Goodbye. Share this video if you will, if you'd like, please. It helps me get more well known, and uh, yeah, I might even do a vlog regarding the current status of YouTube as well. But who knows? All right, I got, I got, I got, I got more comments to collect, so I will bid you all adieu. Goodbye.